Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to tell you today about um, the terrorist Solomon Malongo. Solomon Kalushi Malongo. He also went by the um, African name Kalushi. And there's a movie that came out last year. It was actually um, near my birthday. It came around the, sec uh, the sec second week of March. My, uh, my birthday is March the 12th. And that's why I'll remember it. And the, the movie borderline, well, actually it did. It glorified Solomon Malongo, but Solomon Malongo was a terrorist. And a few years back um, in Durban, that's also the, that's the hometown of uh, Edwin Swales, um, who was a South African Air Force pilot during World War II. And he piloted a bomber and he, um, he, stayed at the controls while his crew bailed out of the plane. So he gave his life for his crew on February 23rd, 1945. Well, the street had been named after him for a long time and his hometown's Durban, South Africa. Well, the, well, the, the ANC basically um, took the name off that street and renamed it Solomon Malongo Drive. Well, I think that's disgraceful because, let me explain this, okay? Solomon Malongo was hung on April 6, 1979 for murder. Um, he was known as being an accomplice with two other guys that were, they were in exile, but they came back to Johannesburg, South Africa, okay? They were questioned and pulled over by a black policeman. The policeman wasn't white, okay? And the policeman asked him to open up the suitcase, and the suitcase had an AK-47 and a hand grenade in there, okay? And leaflets and pamphlets. Basically, they were going to be distributing arms to these students and pamphlets um, to encourage a revolt or a revolution. Now, um, apartheid was not the right thing to do. I'm not saying that at all. I am saying that um, when they went on the run, when Malongo and his accomplices went on the run, one of his accomplices oh, oh, was hiding in this store and hid behind some crates. Well, actually, Malongo and the other accomplice did too. But one of the guys opened up, sh um, started shooting, and killed two people and wounded two people. Two others. Well, he was hung on April 6, 1979. Solomon Malongo was. Okay? And he knew what was going on. He knew what they were doing. He trained in Umkonto Way Seasway Camp in Mozambique in exile. Okay? He knew exactly what he was up to, okay? And it wasn't military targets that this group was encouraging people to shoot at. It was civilian targets. It was anybody. It was like Andrew Zondo, what Andrew Zondo did in 1985, okay? And that's too much. Yes, apartheid was a disgraceful system, but you don't go kill innocent civilians, deliberately target them in that case, and that's what they were doing being trained to do at that time. Mandela was in prison at the time. When Mandela found a new conto away, sees way it was attacking installations, which in the rules of war are not illegal to do. Where after that, after Mandela was in prison, new conto away, sees way started targeting innocent civilians deliberately. And that went on. Well, um, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, who was filled with ANC members and ANC supporters, by the way, um, after apartheid, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission found Malangu guilty and couldn't posthumously grant him amnesty. They found him guilty and responsible for murder, and the Truth and Reconciliation granted a lot of people amnesty. A lot of people I didn't think they should have been granted amnesty to. Um, apartheid uh, people during apartheid that did bad things and then the anti-apartheid movement um, some of the militant activists that did bad things but Malangu was not one of these people he was not granted amnesty despite the appeal from the family and that says something right there that's why it doesn't need to be Solomon Malangu Drive it needs to go back to being Edwin Suarez, um VC Drive and VC stands for Victoria Cross because Edwin Suarez was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross Anyways, everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.